What's going on YouTube? Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a little work on my engine. Instead of a uh, little clip of my audio, it'll be engine work time. Got my trusty gloves on, biking gloves, whatever. They still cover my hands. Anyways, so, problem with my car, well, not really a problem, just something I gotta fix, is my intake. Not this. This whole area is fine. Just gotta clean that sucker. Which will be in another video. But, for now, I've gotta fix this problem. So if you look, this is my intake lead from the outside, which actually makes it a cold air intake. Otherwise, it's just sucking up air from my engine bay, which is kind of hot. So, it comes from here. This little thing right there. As you can see, that's my grill right there. It comes in through here, goes in through there, goes into the heat shield area, sucks in by my cold air intake, and right into my engine. Right? Right. Well, there's a problem. If you see these two wires here, they're held by a figure eight zip tie. See if this camera will zoom in right there. See, it goes around that part, around this part. Well, gets in the way. How do I know this? Well, one day, driving along, and uh, I just shoved this in there, just so it'd work. And then when I pulled up to my house, something smelled really weird. So I opened my engine bay, and what do I see? This lying on the pipe, right there. Thought nothing of it, till I turned it over. See anything wrong with this picture? I don't know about you, but I noticed a bump right there. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. So I thought, <laughs> do I want an engine fire? Probably not. So, today, the task will be, I'm going to cut these zip ties right here and replace them with these ones that I bought from Home Depot. Dollar seventy-five, two dollars and nine cents. <laughs> and I have like, <laughs> 40 of them and 15. <laughs> Not that I need them all, but these little guys, what I'm planning to do, uh, I'm gonna thread these little ones, a little one through here, and then this one, this one I really like. It's a releasable tie, so if I fuck up, I can actually just un uh, unzip it and fix it. This one's gonna hold the two wires together up, up around here, just so it's out of the way when I put the, put the pipe there. And this is going to be threading around that tiny hole there because there were no zip ties I could find that actually fit that little area. They're either this big, slightly smaller, or that tiny. So, fortunately, I'm going to have to put this camera down. And then uh, in editing, I'm going to have to show you what it actually is like because, quite frankly, <laughs> there is no way I'm putting my camera on this, this boiling hot engine. If I want that to melt, so I'll see you in a little bit, YouTube. Well, you'll see this in like five seconds. It's gonna be like 20 minutes for me. And then bam, this will hopefully be changed. Okay, so, stupid wind, I'll move back a bit. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, I may not be the most intelligent person in the world, but holy crap. So my good old uh, <laughs> shears here for the bush, cut this, uh, zip tie here, but I noticed this is actually covering a lot of electrical wires. So I put one of those little zip ties, this thing will focus right here to make sure this doesn't fall off. So then I cut that one, and then I noticed if I put this one right up here, shove it right there. I thought, oh crap, I won't clear it. So I put the wire over top, and then in there. If you look, this literally just snaps in. And that ain't budging. It's actually a pain in the ass to get it off so I could show you guys <laughs> to get it back out of the hole that it so clearly would not go in. But yeah, it's holding right nicely. So, I don't know if you can see in there. It's sucking in air. Well, if I turn on the car, it'll suck in air. Thread it right into here. It's my nice dirty <laughs> intake. And this wire here, I'm just gonna zip tie. If you don't know if you guys can see this, there's a wire here. I'm gonna do a little zip tie right there. Do a little zip tie right here so it doesn't budge. And that way, if I need to get to this wire, if something so should happen to this car, yeah, should be pretty good. <sighs> pretty easy. <laughs> easy day for this little intake thing. So yeah, um, the next video of me is going to be of uh, cleaning this, 
actually of this new product that I got. Don't know if any of you guys have heard of this. It's called uh, Fast Wax. Yeah, this one's kind of broken, but I do have a another one right right here. All my uh, car care cleaning stuff, my little own shelf right there. So yeah, this stuff basically <laughs> basically is amazing. It's a spray on wax. It's not meant to replace a a proper wax like a detailer, like from a turtle wax or anything. Got some ice right there. It uh it basically what they used to use this for is they used it in the pits. They basically would just spray this onto a terry cloth or a microfiber chamois like this or like those and they just wipe it onto the car really really fast and it cleans all the dirt off in the best way possible yep high performance cleaning wax no water required and these are like the easy steps shake can 30 seconds three to five feet terry cloth Boston microfiber chamois and bam it makes your car pretty clean that'll be in the next video of this silver bullet and then uh, I'll show you a video of me cleaning this because quite frankly I haven't seen many on YouTube in fact I haven't seen any on YouTube of my knowledge send me a video if, if you found one because so far I haven't seen any but yeah that'll be the next video coming up in the next uh, few days got a new job as a chef at a restaurant so kind of sick <laughs> So more, more and more builds on the way as soon as that money gets deposited in my bank account. Stay tuned, YouTube. Keep it real. Hey, how low can you go?